So what can you tell us about his family and Elizabeth? I can tell you that they've owned a American fried chicken since 2002. They were open for 24 hours when they first opened up. Then there was code enforcement and noise issues. The neighborhood complained about their 24 hours. I spoke with the father back in 2009, asked him to adjust his business model uh, because the city council passed an ordinance mandating that they close at 10 o'clock in the evening. They chose not to change their business model and litigate the issue with the city of Elizabeth. And in October 2012, the courts ruled in our favor that said we could mandate this business closing at 10 o'clock in the evening because of the problems they were causing in the neighborhood. Other than noise issues, were there any other complaints about this restaurant or this business establishment, complaints of uh, suspicious activities of any kind? Just congregants hanging out in front of the place when they would drive up and try to get chicken orders at 2, 3 in the morning and the noise that was made. So code enforcement issues. I'm sure there are some health records on cleanliness issues that we haven't had a chance to go through. But other than that, nothing serious that would lead or suspect anyone to believe that a member of the family would be involved in such heinous activity. And what about the family members at this juncture? Are they being questioned? Um, and is there any uh, thought that they, family members or anyone as associated with that establishment may have been involved in any way with these incidents? I don't think I, I know or law enforcement knows exactly where the family members are. When they decided to execute the search warrant early this morning, there was no one at the location and only law enforcement have been going through the chicken restaurant and the residents upstairs.